Hi everyone, how are you and welcome back to my channel. You are now with me Marlia. Today I'm going to share a special tutorial with you which is how to crochet this beautiful hook holder. This hook holder contains 12 hook pockets. It is special designed for my 12 steel crochet hook. Have a look, it is so beautiful isn't it? This crochet hook holder can be folded several times, like this. And can be tied together with this strap. It's looking amazing, isn't it? So now I'll show you how to make this special design. So be ready and let's get started. The materials are polyester yarns, crochet hook 2.20mm, the button, stitch marker, tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. Firstly, hold your yarn in a crochet hook. Make a slip knot. Okay, then make 40 chains. The 40 chains are now ready and this is what the chains look like. Then make one turning chain and make one single crochet in each of the stitches. These are three last stitches. Make one single crochet in each of the stitches. One single crochet and one last single crochet. After that, make chain two, turn the work, then make 15 first double crochet start at the stitch number one. Hide this yarn tail. Fifth and first double crochet are ready. Don't forget to put a stitch marker on the top of the fifth and double crochet. Fill up one of these remaining stitches with one double crochet, but this double crochet is matte and the back loops only, not in both, but in the back loop only. Like this, make one double crochet in the back loop. one double crochet in the back loop one double crochet in the back loop only keep making one double crochet in each of the back loop until the end of this row make it slowly These are last two stitches of this row. Make one double crochet in the back loop. Make one last double crochet in the last back loop. Then make one double crochet in the loop between the back and the front loop. You will find there is a loop between the back and the front loop. So make one double crochet in this loop. one double crochet then move to front loop 
make one double crochet in each of these front loop one double crochet then one double crochet and the next loop okay keep making one double crochet in each of these front loop until you arrive at the stitch marker This is the second last front loop double crochet. This one is the last front loop double crochet. Then make chain one. Turn it work. Then join the fronts and the back loop double crochet together with one slip stitch on the top of them. Do it like this. Grab the yarn. Yelling over, then complete the single crochet. Keep working on single crochet until the end of this row in order to form first hook pocket. These are three last front and back double crochet stitch. Make one single crochet on the top of both. This is two last single crochet, and this one is the last single crochet. Make one turning chain, turn the work, and make one single crochet in each of the stitches until you arrive at the stitch marker. Keep making one single crochet like this. When you arrive at the stitch marker, then remove this stitch marker. Make one double crochet on the first stitch or on the stitch where you put the stitch marker. Make another double crochet. Don't forget to put the stitch marker on the top of the first double crochet. And continue to make one double crochet in each of the remaining stitches to complete this row. These are two last stitches. Make one double crochet in each of the stitches. This is the last one. Then chain two. This is a turning chain. Make one double crochet in each of the stitches until you arrive at the stitch marker. Two stitches to the stitch marker, one stitch to the stitch marker. Okay, I'm arriving at the stitch marker, then I will remove this stitch marker and I'll make the 15th double crochet on the top of it this one is the fifth it's double crochet let's complete this first after this one make the next double crochet through the back loops of the stitch like this this is the back loop so you need to make the next double crochet through this loop this is called the back loops double crochet. Don't forget to put a stitch marker on the top of the fifth it's double crochet. Then continue to make one back loop double crochet in each of the remaining stitches to complete this part.
this one is the second last back loop double crochet this one is the last back loop double crochet make another double crochet in the loop between the front and the back loop then move to the front loop make one double crochet in this first front loop make another front loop double crochet next front loop double crochet keep making one front loop double crochet in each of this stitch until you arrive at the stitch marker This is the last front loop double crochet then make chain one turn the work make one single crochet on the top of front and back loop double crochet to join them together grab the yarn then complete a single crochet Make the next single crochet on the top of the next front and back loop double crochet, just like this. This one is the last single crochet, then make chain 2, sorry chain 1. Then make one single crochet in each of the stitches. One single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet. Keep making one single crochet until you arrive at the stitch marker. This one is the last single crochet before the stitch marker. Just like before, now it's time to remove the stitch marker. After that, make one double crochet on the top of the previous double crochet. Pull the stitch marker on the top of the first double crochet. Make the next double crochet to the next stitch. Then keep making one double crochet in each of the stitches to complete this part. These are two last double crochets and this one is the last double crochet. Let's complete this first. After that, chain two, then repeat this pattern over and over again until you get as much as the hook pocket as you want. I've just made two hook pocket sample for this tutorial and this how to use it. You just need to insert your crochet hook into the pocket. This is what it looks like and it's so nice and looks so amazing. Have a look. Actually for this tutorial I made 12 hook pocket. Let me show you. This is first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and and this one is 12. Well, to make it pretty cool, I'll make the border. This border is made of single crochet. Make first two single crochet on the double crochet space. Make one single crochet in each of this single crochet space. One single crochet. One single crochet. Back to double crochet space. Put two single crochet. Then put one single crochet on each of the single crochet space. These are also two single crochet space. Put one single crochet in each of the space. Then make two single crochet in the next space or in the next stitch. After that, make one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches or one single crochet in each of next stitches like this 
This one is the last stitch, so put two single crochet in it. One and two. Then move to the next side. This is the double crochet space. Make two single crochet. Then the next one is two single crochet space. Put one single crochet in each of space. One, two space or stitch it's similar then this the double crochet stitch the double crochet space sorry make two single crochet this last ones are two single crochet space or two single crochet stitch put one single crochet in each of the stitches then make two single crochet in the last stitch okay done this is what the pattern looks like okay before i continue i like to put a stitch marker in the middle of the project because i want to make a strap this is uh the position of the stitch marker then i continue to make one single percentage of the stitches until i arrive at the stitch marker okay i will remove the stitch marker and i'll make one single crochet in it After that, I'll make 64 chains, but firstly, I'll just make 48 chain. This one is the 48 chain, so put the stitch marker in this chain. Then I'll make 16 more chain, so the total amount of chains are 64. After that, I make the slip stitch on the stitch marker. Firstly, remove the stitch marker, then make slip stitch in it. This is not a single crochet, but the slip stitch. Then make one slip stitch in each of the stitches. Keep making one slip stitch in each of the stitches until you arrive at the beginning of the chain. This is the last slip stitch. Let's complete this first. Then go to the next stitch. Make one single crochet. Then make one single crochet in the next one stitch. Keep making one single crochet in each of the stitches. One single crochet, one single crochet. This is three last single crochet. Keep making one single crochet in each of the stitches. Then make two single crochet in these eight stitches. Get the same. When you make another eight stitch, you need to make two single crochet until you arrive at the strap. You also need to make one single crochet and it all the stitches on the strap like this. This single crochet is mat on the back loops, as sorry I forgot to say. Back loop single crochet until the end of the strap. Then go to the normal stitch, then make one single crochet on it. This is the normal single crochet. Keep making one single crochet in each of the stitches until the end of this row. Then end it with a slip stitch. Finally cut the yarn. Sew on the bottom. 
it's finally ready I have put one crochet hook in each of the hook pocket I will replace this one with the steel versions of the same size As you see that, so we can fold it several times before we tie it. Make it like this. Then tie them together with the strap and the button. Finally, this beautiful kiss for crochet hook is ready. I hope you like this pattern. Well, see you again on the next video. Happy crochet, have a good day, and assalamualaikum.